Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, P Gang. All right, man. Um, I saw a video that Fred put up, <laughs> you know, barbershop conversation, and it just was hilarious, especially not what Fred was saying, but what was in the comment section. You know, at the end of the day, I keep telling you, Manny Pacquiao fans are not boxing fans. They're just fans of him and they're also bigots and racists. But now they wanna cry, give Manny Pacquiao his just due. You know, we're, a hate, we're haters, we're jealous. Like I said, who would be jealous of you guys? I mean, you can take that however you want, once again. But now all of a sudden, they going from channel to channel crying about people who refuses to give Manny Pacquiao his just due. You know what was so funny? One of my uh, Filipino co-workers, you know, I just got through talking to him. He worked the morning shift, but he came in early and I asked him, what did he think of the fight? He said, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. He said, I thought the fight was a draw. He said, even with the knockdown. He said, I'm not one of these dudes that's gonna sit up. He said, I'm not one of those Filipinos that sit up here and just say this, just to go along with the script. He said he thought it was a draw. And I told him, I said, well, I thought Keith Thurman won. He said, I don't have no problem with that. So here's the thing. It's funny that Fred put up a video saying that Keith Thurman had a broken rib going into the Manny Pacquiao fight. Now everybody's saying, oh, you're just making excuses. Oh, you, you just won't give Manny Pacquiao his praise and all that stuff. And see, this is why I don't respect Manny Pacquiao or his fans. Because like I said, the people that back up Manny Pacquiao are really undercover white supremacists. And that's how I look at Manny Pacquiao fans. As racist, clueless, and, you know, just bigots. Now all of a sudden y'all playing victim, y'all crying about... Oh, we ain't giving Manny Pacquiao his props. Look, let me tell y'all something. Y'all can't come on my channel and internet flex. See, you know what I'm saying? See, you can't take no PEDs allegedly to, and come on my channel and try to flex, you know, like Manny Pacquiao. Cause that shit don't bother me. It go in one ear out the other. Like I said, I get joy knowing that you guys get so upset about me not giving Manny Pacquiao his praise. But now you know how it feels. Because four years ago, when Floyd Mayweather beat Manny Pacquiao fair and square, you didn't hear nothing about, hey, Floyd was the better man, Gib, Floyd, his props, Floyd won. You made every excuse from Manny Pacquiao was old, but he's still fighting, but he's younger, he younger than Floyd Mayweather. Oh, um, Floyd ran. It was just excuse after excuse. It was very few Filipino people that gave Floyd May. And yes, I'm signaling y'all out because you guys are the main culprit. You had every excuse in the book, but to just accept the fact that Floyd beat Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao was limited to throwing punches because he couldn't hit Floyd. And Floyd took away Manny Pacquiao's best attributes. And that's all it came down to. He neutralized Manny Pacquiao. He was faster, he was smarter, and it was just that simple. But instead of y'all just saying, hey, Floyd won, y'all went along with this stuff about the shoulder injury, Floyd ran, it, it was, you know what I'm saying? It was just excuse after excuse after excuse. And I don't respect y'all for that. Because I guarantee you had Manny Pacquiao won the fight, he wouldn't have brought up nothing about no shoulder injury. It was something concocted because Manny Pacquiao felt that he was gonna lose that fight. That's why he said he dreamed after he got schooled that he lost to Floyd Mayweather. First he said he dreamed that he knocked him out. And basically that might have been the truth because the only way he could have knocked Floyd Mayweather out if he was dreaming. And the funny part about it was when y'all was first asked, did y'all wanna see a rematch? I don't wanna see that again. I don't wanna see it again. The hell with Floyd Mayweather. Now all of a sudden that Floyd ain't had an actual, actual fight since 2015. Now y'all hollering about, oh, give Floyd a rematch. If Floyd doesn't fight Manny Pacquiao again, he's a coward. That don't make no kind of sense. 
You just want to see Manny beat Floyd at all costs. You don't care if Floyd come in there. I guarantee you if Floyd, I guarantee you if Floyd say, hey, I shouldn't have took, if let's just say Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather fight, Manny Pacquiao win and Floyd say, hey, I shouldn't have took the fight. You know what I'm saying? I, I wasn't ready. Y'all to say, oh, no excuses, no excuses. It's easy to do this to you guys. You're easy. Real talk. Now you, now you crying victim, talking about what you don't want to hear. Well, we didn't want to hear what y'all was coming up with. Like I said, where was y'all at before the fight? Like I said, now all of a sudden y'all trying to pop up and, 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 you know, and flex and juice up on the internet like Manny Pacquiao allegedly and try to come on my channel talking shit. Man, get out of here. Like I said before, I, I'm glad that y'all get so mad because it is hilarious. When y'all sit up there calling me out my name and all that stuff, at the end of the day, like I said, you're making me money and you can sit up there and say, oh, well, you getting this and you get, don't matter. It don't matter if I make five cents per month off YouTube. At the end of the day, you contributed to it. So thank you very much. Like I said, ain't no fun, huh? When the rabbit got the gun, huh? You Pacquiao fans are all the same. When Manny wins, y'all talk about give him his just due, give him his praise, give him his props. But you only show up when he wins. But then when he loses, it's everybody else's fault. Like I said, Marquez landed a lucky punch. Keep in mind, before that, they had fought three previous times, right? So that was a, no. Marquez knew what to do because he had fought Manny Pacquiao so many times, and he knew Manny Pacquiao would eventually get too cautious. I mean, get too reckless, and he capitalized off of him, and kaboom. Man down. Face first. Smelling sauce. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, this is karma. That's what y'all get. Because y'all refuse to give black fighters their just due. You refuse to give Floyd his just do look I don't give a damn about what all these other niggas say about Floyd don't care about the black community and and I don't give a fuck about none of that shit I can, like I told you I know the difference between we not talking about Floyd the person we talk about Floyd the boxer see that's the difference between a lot of other niggas I ain't in my feelings about you know what I'm saying Floyd the boxer versus Floyd the person I already know what kind of cat Floyd is but like I said, I'm not ever going to go against the grain. I'm not ever going to jump ship just to uh, please y'all. Nah, you got me fucked up. But anyway, this your boy Town Biz. I'm out.